What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, Mario went MIA so uh, and it's up to Luigi to do this task of uh, finding all the power stars. So uh, in this part we're going to go into the terrace. Welcome! This dome acts as the night of the observatory. From here we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you into those faraway galaxies. Finally point... <laughs> I got a fun story by the way about this pole star thing. I have a wicked fun story. So when I was eight or nine years old, I was used to N64 and GameCube. I was not used to playing with motion controls. It, even though this says to aim at the pull star, this took me legit several days to figure out how to do this because I'm not, I was not used to using the Wii remote. To be fair, this console was brand, I was thinking new at the time and I just had it, but um, these are the galaxies that we observe from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you'll be able to travel. But yeah, that's a little fun star right there. So uh, now we uh, go to the one star. We cannot go to these other galaxies yet. So uh, and these are unlockables. So let's just go to Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power stars and energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Anyway, so let's fly this galaxy. Anyway, so... Oh my god, this is like such a nostalgia review. Good at galaxy. Dino Piranha. Now, uh... Get ready for this awesome music, by the way. But, uh... It's very iconic music. It's like... I remember, like, when I first played this, I was like... I, I probably would have been like nine years old when this came out. This came out late 2007, so I've been about to turn nine years old. So, uh, but uh, hearing this music for the first time was like absolutely mesmerizing. Like, I was used to like playing games like Mario 64 because I actually did not play Sunshine as a kid. So uh, I played it later, but I did not actually play it growing up. So um, basically. Kind of the jump from 64 to this kind of blew my mind, let's just say. But, uh, interesting thing you can do as Luigi is if you actually, uh, not slide off that. But, uh, the interesting thing is if you, uh, you can kind of backflip. You have to do it at the right spot, though. Go to the pipe to the side. Yeah, I think it's like, uh... If I... I can do this. I can normally do this. Can I actually do this right? No! Okay, let's screw- Oh, one more try, we'll say screw that. If you're if you're playing as Luigi, you can backflip a lot- I did not mean to read that. You can backflip lead, you can blackflip and long jump and wall jump, get up that, but uh, I haven't played this game in a while. I did not do a practice playthrough of this, let's just say. I like a lot of my other playthroughs, I did- I figured I've done this enough times where I don't really need a practice playthrough, um... Though I would say, don't count on a Mario 64 playthrough, I've said this before, it's like, that game's way too overdone for me to dissect any further, even really this game is, that's why I only really decided to play the Luigi portion. But anyway, if you want to go in that area proper, we go down this pipe. And uh, if we get this question block, and listen to the music by the way. Oh fuck, I missed, a no I missed a note right there. And if we get all that, we get a 1-up, which, uh... How many lives do we have again? We have 6 lives, so we're almost we're almost gonna get another 1-up with, uh, Star Bits, but, uh... It's all- Good at Galaxy I actually find to be a really good Galaxy Farm Star Bits. Now, they hand Star Bits like candy, and my advice, if you're playing this game for the first time, which... I kind of feel bad for you if you never actually played this game, but, uh... My advice, generally, is get as many Star Bits as possible. Because, uh, it'll be good long-term. Even if it's, like, a lot of grinding short-term, it'll be great long-term, because there's gonna be points later we're gonna need Star Bits, let's just say. Now, um, I'm not always good at timing this, but if we actually, uh, if we can time hitting the boulder just right... No, we're not gonna... I'm not gonna time that right. 
Oh shit, am I actually gonna die in the first level? Yeah, I'm not gonna risk that again. I, I, I just fucking died on the first level. <laughs> All because I want to try something more risky. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm fucking nine years old all like all over again. But uh yeah, all because I wanted to try some more. If you can actually hit their red part, you can actually get star bits out of that. So I unfortunately failed to do that. So uh Now we want to find those out of the three. It's uh that's the third one. Now again, controlling Luigi is a lot wonkier than controlling Mario, much like a lot of other Mario games. I died on the fucking first level. <laughs> that is a that is gonna be like embarrassing. It's like people like it's like uh if say like this if say like uh if say like if say if this channel got like big like uh which I hope it does uh yeah well, let's just say uh something that it's it's something that it's embarrassing to think about like dying in World One One in Super Mario Brothers is another example. Like you should not die on the first. I only really died in the first stage because I want to try something that I couldn't get to work, but uh. Now, here's another way you can kind of get rid of these. If you actually get caught with them, they'll kind of suck, they'll kind of drain your health and uh and low batteries. Yay. So, I'm going to have to change my Wii batteries in between recording sessions. I forget how quickly I always forget how quickly Wii batteries can like uh can drain out. That's not those aren't star bits. You can if 50 coins give you up can give you a one up, but they're actually very hard to get and like only a few stages you can possibly get 50 coins, but uh it's possible. I've had it happen before, so I think the I think what we're going to hope to maybe do is try to get that 50 star bits. And I'm running up that uh thing. It's not even a hill like like Cape Bush songs. I, the interesting thing about the Cape Bush song is that like uh before the Stranger Things happened, I thought it was like this underrated song from the 80s and the Stranger Things episode happened and I never want to hear that song again. <laughs> Let's just say it's just, uh, some things can just, uh, taint a song. Sometimes overexposure behind a song can, like, taint it forever for me. Like, Hotel California is a great example. We actually could get three one-ups with uh, Star Bits, and uh, this is the boss. Now let's uh, actually let's just grab these stars. Give us enough to get a one-up. 142. Yeah, we're gonna get a one-up out of this. You can get a lot of Star Bits in some stages, so uh. Definitely take advantage of it. Especially on bosses. Bosses, you can also get a lot of star bits. Now, the go with Dino Prize, you want to hit, whack him on the tail. And he's going to get angrier. And he's eventually going to um, go faster. But that, but we run, we're using a character that runs faster. So, uh, he's really pissed now. So, um, I missed that climb and, uh, I missed that hit and, uh, I don't think I've ever seen Dino Prime last this long, and I get that from Dino on the first level, but anyway. And that is Dino Prime Pleader. He died at birth. Anyway, so here's our first normal power star. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is uh, not save our game because I want to know when these recordings are successes. Those those are star bits. Taluma is there, the tastiest, most detectable treats of magical. Aim your thing at the screen and point them to pick them up. Once you have them shoot by, you can basically stun enemies uh, with that, but I don't really find that useful. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. We're going to get these star bits only to feed them. It's a little awkward doing this while sitting down, but, uh... Hmm. 
Hmm, tasty. Let's call those little mor morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure Starbucks will be a big help on your adventure. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is, uh... Now we're gonna do the second star in Good Egg Galaxy. This is the snack of cosmic proportions. This is the first time we're actually gonna need uh, star bits. And that's the, you see that hungry loom right there? Yeah, that's basically what this tutorial was for. I, and that basically, uh, I'm sometimes I'm on the gist where they're not to spoil a 20 year old game, but I do realize that like, um, I have a handful of viewers like, um, my, it's interesting because like, I play a lot of like, uh, games from like 10, 20, 30 years ago. So I have kind of a mixed, um, age group, let's just say like a majority of my viewers are my analytics, like 18 to 35 year old males, but like. There are definitely also a lot of a handful of children that watch my content. So, uh, because you can easily just lie in like YouTube, when creating YouTube accounts. So, uh, I don't know. It's like, um, it's not really something to, uh, I really think about. But, uh, anyway, so I, I just, uh, I'm hoping the batteries don't run out during the session. But, uh, because otherwise, I have spare batteries and, uh, I've had various charging things over the years. Uh, some have worked better than others, but um, I don't know, some of the things I have, some of the controllers I have though, it's just better off buying batteries. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is uh, unfortunately though, I think I don't think we're gonna do all of Good Egg Galaxy in one in one video, so uh, I think uh, we're already at 12 minutes of recording time. So uh, can I get a one up out of this? Actually, we have to. Uh, we don't have to go there like we did the last star, but uh, there's some more. Uh, there's some more. I don't know these enemies' official names. I have the manual, but I I have to really look up at, at look at that manual. Actually, we have almost. Uh, we actually do need to get a hundred star bits. So uh, let's kill this. Oc Excuse me. Yeah, die. <laughs> anyway, I've got a hungry friend up ahead. You don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? And uh, yeah, it's essentially going to be the hungry Luma. But yeah, I think this is the last video I'll record in the session. This is, uh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to, uh, change batteries in between recording sessions. I guess that's the downside of playing the Wii port over the Super Mario All-Star, 3D All-Stars port, because, I don't know, it's like, if, even if you're using a Switch Pro Girl, you still have to charge it, like I did with the Super Mario RPG playthrough. I still like to go explore these uh, galaxies and try to get as many uh, Star Wars tosses. So, like, if you actually go here, you can get some more Star Bits right here. Because you're basically going to need them for basically li later. If you can get as many Star Bits in a stage, let's just say they're great long term. So we have 124. We have more than enough to feed the Hungry Luma, but I just want to get as many as possible. Again, I'm, I'm not gonna try that, uh, hitting those boulders again. I'm not always good at it, plus I, because I, I died on the first level, so. And coins heal you up like they do in, uh, 64 and Sunshine. Or really any for, uh, they don't Odyssey though, it's hard, so, uh, I guess if you've only played Odyssey, that's kind of a nice little hint there. Odyssey is another game that's a little over, even though it's definitely up there in terms of my 3D Mario, that game is also a little overexposed, let's just say. Like, I try to avoid- I normally try to avoid, avoid games that are kind of too overdone, like Mario 64 is a great example. Like, 
even Mario Galaxy is a great example. It's just I don't really see as many playthroughs of the Luigi portion. Yeah, we're going to get like a 171. So I guess we can beat the Hungry Luma. Plus this is the planet where he shows up on. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got any tasty star bits? Feed me a bunch of star bits. I'll bunch of, burst with snacking after this and transform. I'm famished. I need 100 star bits. Yeah. Thankfully, there are no, uh, thankfully, because of the limited coins in this game, there are no coin Lumas. Those are Galaxy 2. And that's a hundred, that's a hundred star bits, and, uh, he's gonna transform, and he's gonna... And a new planet was born. Let's go investigate. Anyway, so... If you, if, I guess the broken thing about using Luigi over Mario is that you can pull off higher jumps like these. I think we can actually, yeah, let's just, we'll just skip that portion and go here. And the music's gonna change. I also like this music a lot. When I was actually a kid, this was actually my favorite music in the game. Like it was very, it's very peaceful. It really fits really a lot of the atmosphere. They can count this music. Shut up! I'm gonna end this recording eventually, battery. And I'm gonna replace them in between recording sessions. I want, what's gonna happen first, though? The batteries, because I, I think the Wii batteries can run out pretty quickly, let's just say. I'm really kind of speeding my way through this level, but, uh. And die. I might have to avoid that one up. Let's get a one up. Let's get one last one up for the road. Oh, wait, you don't get a one up if you reclaim. Um, actually, I don't think I ever really knew that. Maybe I did, but uh. But anyway, so we have to collect these uh blue star pe. We have to collect these blue star chips. These will actually form pull stars. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is we get the fifth one. And let's, uh. No, wait. What? I don't think I usually take this long game the star. Can I get the fucking star? There we go. And, uh, yeah, um, I think that's all we can really do. This is going to be a pretty long playthrough, let's just say, because, uh, I've done some shorter playthroughs, but I think this one's probably going to take, like, a 40-part playthrough, let's just say, but, uh, we discovered a new galaxy, so, uh, I guess we'll go investigate it in the next part. Well done, Brave Explorer, you've discovered a new galaxy. Talking about stars will expand a range of vision, perhaps advancing through the enemy base. Anyway, so next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're gonna go explore those bases, that new galaxy, and finish good at Galaxy. See you guys then.